Not all LEGO sets are created equal. Some sets take an idea and produce the most boring, straightforward version of that idea possible. Then there are 1000 IQ sets. The Galaxy Brain LEGO builds that solve problems creatively by thinking outside the box. We're talking about the sets that use frogs for leaves and hot dogs for eyebrows. The LEGO sets that aren't afraid to try something weird. These are 10 1000 IQ sets that will leave you in awe at the sheer genius of the designers at LEGO. Most people agree that Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull is the worst movie in the entire Indiana Jones franchise. The movie was so bad it coined a term to replace Jumped the Shark as a way of indicating the exact moment when a series goes bad. And that phrase is nuked the fridge. But while Crystal Skull is by no means a classic, it did inspire LEGO to produce some banger sets based on the movie. Take the Indiana Jones River Chase set. At first glance, the playset looks like your typical LEGO fare. The set contains 234 pieces and consists of a tree, a boat, a car, an alligator, and four minifigures. Indiana Jones, Marion Ravenwood, and two Russian guards. Oh, and snakes. Can't, can't forget the two red snakes that also come with the set here. How else are you going to terrorize Indy? The true ingenuity of the set doesn't shine through though until you take a look at the gas can on the back of the truck. The handle on the gas can is actually a repurposed gun. Now, we don't know how safe it would be to use a gun as a handle for a real life gas can, but when it comes to Lego, it's kind of genius. That's the kind of creative problem solving we've come to expect from Lego, and it only gets more impressive from here. The Lego bonsai tree is a work of art. The brilliant designers at Lego took cold, hard plastic and made a set that looks organic and practically alive. The Lego bonsai tree is two sets of leaves that builders can switch back and forth. A set of regular green leaves like the ones found on the average bonsai tree and another pink set to represent cherry blossoms. These cherry blossoms, however, are hiding a 1000 IQ Lego secret. They are full of frogs. Those mad lads at LEGO repurposed their previously green frog piece by making it pink and sticking a hundred of them all over the LEGO bonsai tree. These simple LEGO frog pieces are LEGO's go-to when looking for something unique to stick in a set. The pieces have been produced in various colors from the traditional green to red, yellow, black, brown, and even these pink little fellas. The pink frogs are the most versatile though, as they seem to pop up anytime LEGO needs a pink flower, including another set on this list. We don't necessarily think frogs look much like flowers, but then again, we're not LEGO designers, are we? The people on LEGO's design team have a knack for seeing the potential in different pieces that most of us would just overlook. That's why they're the ones with the 1000 IQ, and we're still stuck in the triple digits. Okay, fine, the double digits. Just, just please don't tell anyone. The LEGO A-Frame Cabin is the perfect outdoor getaway for all your minifigures fed up with the stress of everyday life and seeking a vacation away from modern society. This set is chock full of fun activities for nature enthusiasts. Canoeing, hiking, and even just chilling out and strumming a tune on an acoustic guitar. It's all part of the LEGO A-Frame Cabin. But for all of its summer camp vibes, the A-Frame Cabin is built upon a god-tier foundation. Literally, it's built on a foundation made from Thor's hammer, or rather several of Thor's hammers. Marvel's Thor carries a special weapon dubbed Mjolnir. The superhero fans at LEGO took one look at tiny Mjolnir that comes with LEGO Thor and saw some bricks. At least that's how we assume it happened, since they took the heads off of several Mjolnirs and then they built the A-Frame cabin on top of them. Pretty clever for mere mortals. We're gonna assume that living above the Norse God of Thunder's favorite tool means the minifigures living in the Lego A-Frame cabin are saving a ton on their electricity bill. Ah, the Natural History Museum. A nice peaceful set featuring a dinosaur skeleton and its several banana ribs. Wait, oh, hold on, Bana banana ribs? Yeah, those wacky brainiacs at LEGO used bananas as stand-ins for rib bones on the unidentified dinosaur fossil included in the Natural History Museum set. We're not totally sure, but that might be the first instance in history of edible bones, which now that we think about, that's gross. On top of that, the whole point of a rib cage is to protect all the squishy bits, you know, the spleen, the stomach, the liver, etc. And anyone who's held a banana knows that they're soft, like wicked soft. I, some would say mushy. That means that whatever species of dinosaur the skeleton belongs to had nothing but soft, mushy fruit protecting all of its important organs. You know, maybe this is why dinosaurs went extinct. The Brickhead's Lady Liberty is not only adorable, but she's also adorably clever. This Lego set hides a few secrets that qualify it for 1000 IQ status. First of all, the fire for Lady Liberty's torch is actually reused minifigure hair. 
That's right, for every Brickhead's Lady Liberty, there's a poor bald minifigure somewhere freezing his head off. That fire wig is cool and all, but what's underneath is even better. Pull that blazing mane off of LL's torch and you'll find a hidden piece of Lego lipstick. Some genius designers realized that one of the lipstick pieces Lego made for an entirely different set would make the perfect way to attach Lady Liberty's fire to her torch. Only in the Lego world could hair stuck on a tube of lipstick be a viable substitute for fire. Just for the heck of it, we tried sticking a red wig onto the tube of lipstick in real life to see if it would resemble Lady Liberty's torch. It did not. All we succeeded in creating was a mess. From now on, we'll stick to making YouTube videos and leave the inventive thinking to the pros over at LEGO. This next set looks like a dinosaur with a flying saucer for a head. That's right, it's the Horizon Forbidden West Tall Neck. This LEGO behemoth is a recreation of the Tall Neck robots that players encounter throughout the video game Horizon Forbidden West. Unlike the machines in the game though, this Tall Neck makes use of several recycled LEGO pieces. The first 1000 IQ move you'll notice when you look at the tall neck is its skateboard butt. No, seriously. The rear part of this Lego is comprised of four minifigure skateboards. Lego got rid of the wheels and made them white, but otherwise, it's that's definitely it's definitely a skateboard butt. Believe it or not, that's not even the tall neck's most genius use of vehicle parts. The back of the robot's flying saucer head, seriously, this thing is like the Starship Enterprise suddenly grew legs. The back of its head has four flat gray pieces attached to it. Those four uh, antennae, antennas, antennases. Look, we may not know what the pieces are supposed to be on the tall neck, but we know what they used to be. The skis for a Lego snowmobile. Lego definitely showed some ingenuity when they came up with this build. However, we do think they missed one important opportunity. Instead of calling the set the Horizon Forbidden West Tall Neck, they should have called it the Horizon Forbidden West Ski Head Skateboard Butt. It's just got a nice ring to it. The Disney classic The Little Mermaid got a live action facelift in 2023 along with a new Lego set. The Little Mermaid Royal Clamshell takes a cue from Ariel herself and uses an everyday human item for something completely different than its intended use. For Ariel, it was her prized dingle hopper a hair comb that's actually a fork that someone tossed in the ocean. Likewise, the Little Mermaid Royal Clamshell uses a different mundane object, a pink hairbrush, as a substitute for coral. But that's not the only surprise the 1000 IQ geniuses at LEGO hid in the Little Mermaid Royal Clamshell. Throughout the rest of the set are little tufts of what looks like seagrass growing out of the ground. Those little green clumps of seagrass are actually the tops, or, well, bottoms, depending on how you hold it, of LEGO carrots. Carrots and hairbrushes under the sea? What will those geniuses at LEGO think of next? The LEGO Ninjago City Market is an amazing set that we showcased in our most expensive LEGO set video. Which, by the way, you should go check out if you haven't seen it yet. Today, we're looking at the City Market set not for its value, but for the 1000 IQ ideas that went into its design. Anyone who's looking at the LEGO Ninjago City Markets and thinking, Oh man, what a peaceful, non-violent place this is. Think again. The city markets are hiding tons of deadly weapons made to look like just another part of the construction. For example, the roof on the set's ice cream shop is made almost entirely out of meat cleavers. Many of that set's green plants are actually just swords in disguise. And if that wasn't enough protection, the LEGO Ninjago City Market set also features a tree made of submachine guns. Make no mistake, the Ninjago City Market is packing some heat. While all of the sets on this list so far have featured unique uses for unrelated pieces, the Ninjago City Market takes it to a whole nother level. By using weapons to build a set based on an action-based property like Ninjago, LEGO has essentially added another level of play to this set. If Lloyd and his friends are hanging out in the city markets, chilling, and Garmadon and his goons show up, they can still defend themselves here. All they gotta do is grab a grass sword, a roof cleaver, or a tree gun, and they are ready for battle. Ew, <laughs> bugs. If you're not into creepy crawlies, good news. The Lego insect collection comes with a trio of insects that are cool looking and not scary at all. If you have a Lego phobia, on the other hand, well then what are you doing watching this video? The Lego insect collection comes with a praying mantis, a butterfly, and a beetle. And to borrow a quote from the Transformers, each of the insects is more than meets the eye. Let's start with a praying mantis or Chinese mantis. Much like its real world counterpart, the Lego Mantis has a pair of wicked looking claws attached to its arms. Unlike the real life Mantis, however, the Lego version has claws made from leftover Ninjago swords. I mean, that's not much of a leap though, right? Substituting blades for claws seems like a no brainer. 
Using guns for feet, however, that's a galaxy brainer. All four of the Chinese Mantis's back legs and in the same revolvers brandished by countless minifigures. Next, we'll move on to the butterfly, or rather, below the butterfly. A bee pollinating a flower sits below the winged wonder's perch. Look closely at the bee's body and you can see that the abdomen is actually a repainted egg. And finally, we come to the Hercules beetle. This beetle is hiding the biggest secret of the insect collection, a pair of croissants doubling as grubs. These two pastries in disguise are nestled snugly beneath the log that serves as the beetle's perch. Using delicious croissants as a stand-in for insect larvae may seem like a gross waste of good breakfast, but it's also a 1000 IQ move from those wacky eggheads at LEGO. The Friends Botanical Garden just might be the most 1000 iq set of all the 1000 IQ sets on this list. That's because the LEGO Botanical Garden is like a three-dimensional version of one of those hidden picture books. Seriously, the big brains at LEGO pulled out all the tricks for this set, from saxophones for vines to artist palettes for lily pads. The Friends Botanical Garden is LEGO at its most creative. Those painter palette lily pads, for instance, are surrounded by plants made of eggshells. Remember the pink frogs made to look like flowers from the bonsai tree set? They're here too, as part of a group of flowers next to a bench. Speaking of a bench, it's made using snakes. An interesting construction choice, to say the least. When LEGO first released a Spider-Man set featuring a Kraven the Hunter minifigure, they probably weren't thinking, if we paint Kraven's fur collar green, we could totally use that as leaves. And yet, for the mini bonsai tree included with the Botanical Garden set, that's exactly what LEGO did. Meanwhile, right under the saxophone vines lies a plant made with a broom head stolen from a Disney Sorcerer's Apprentice set. And next to that is another plant with what looks like spiky red leaves. Well, guess what? Those are actually spiked shoulder pads. And next to those is a flower with an upside down heart in the middle. And that's still not every secret piece used in this construction of the Lego Friends Botanical Garden set. Still, we have to stop somewhere or this video will literally never end. But we implore you to check out the Lego Friends Botanical Garden or any other sets on this list for yourself and see if you can find any 1000 IQ secrets that we may have missed. Those are the top 10 1000 IQ sets the geniuses at LEGO have come up with so far. But what was your favorite? Did we miss any big ones? Let us know in the comments and while you're at it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And check out the next video on the right for more LEGO goodness.